So hey guys, if you want to join GTA 5 role plays on Xbox One, uh, you need to come over to his uh, website and sign and sign up gaming. Um, so what you do, guys, you just search this into your internet, you know, Google, um, Bing, whatever you are using. Um, put this into the search bar, search it, and then a website should come up. It should have a white background and it should not look like this. So, but on that website, what you do, you just register. Um, obviously, register up. And then, um, when you've registered, you come over to here. Um, it should say classic version on the uh, website with the white background. So when you click that, it will bring you over to here. You might have to log in, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to quickly log in, guys. Alright, so guys, when you logged in, what you're gonna do, um, you know, this, this is a big website, really big in, uh, website, really uh, well laid out. Um, but if you have a look in the top left hand corner, there's a search bar. Um, if you put in LR, L, LR, LRP. And then if you search out, uh, loads of stuff will come up. Um, what I done is um, I made a character creation. This is what you will need to do, and this is what you will have to do after role play. So you can get like um, sort out your money now from jobs what you are doing and in for the uh, money what you're making and get yeah, fines and that. But um, before you all do that, guys, you go to um, RLRP, you search in rules. Then, guys, what you should uh, what should come up is this. Um, I want you to click, click this, and uh, before you make your character creation, what you need to do is read through all of this information. It is going to be loads, but you will really, I am 100% guaranteed but you would enjoy roleplay as soon as you know all the rules and stuff. Um, here, if you have a look at these building, these are just buildings for sale. Um, out of the roleplay money where you get. Obviously, uh, they are a bit expensive, but uh, if you want to become a billionaire, that's what you got to do. But anyway, back to the uh, subject. When you've read the rules, guys, um, you know, it should say some jobs and stuff in your rules on the roleplay. Um, when you've done that, you just go to our L um, RLRP. Okay. Sorry about that, okay. Go to RLRP, search that. And then character creation should come up. What I want you guys to do is click that. So what I did when I was uh, going to make my character, I went down, I write a couple of these uh, files and stuff, other people's. Um, I'm going to bring you down to mine. Right, so here's mine. Uh, if you really wanted to guys, you can um, pause the video, have a little read of mine. Um, so what I did is I copied and pasted, pasted some of these, so I just copy and paste mine. And I just go, oh, well, bear with me, yeah, X is next, X is prior to here. Um, but what I did, I went down, I went to the bottom of a page, pasted it in here. Um, I could do anyone who say I could do that one as well, paste that in the box. So what I did then, guys, is um, obviously I filled in this information. So let's say I'm a guy called... It's Gwilym, it's Thunder, um, G 
change the name to Bob Jones, 25 year old. Okay, for the jobs now, on the rules, it should say some jobs what you could have, but what I did is, um, when I was making my uh, character creation, I came up, I was looking on um, at these people's jobs. I went all through these pages and I found out what job I wanted to be. I could become a bodyguard. I used to be a bartender. I, Bartender should still be on it because I'm a part time work for a bodyguard, but uh, I'll sort that out soon. Um, then obviously, you just make your character's bio. Um, so, yeah, when you've done that, guys, you hit send, it will obviously get sent into a website. IG members, they will um, they'll have a look at your um, character creation, they will see if you're alright or not. Then, when you've done them, um, uh, when we check them, we should give you feedback. It's, um, yeah, so when you've done that, guys, uh, your character creation, you are starting to go. Um, if you're on Xbox One, you need to message this guy, IG. He's the um, head of the community. Um, message him saying that uh, you've joined from YouTube or something, seen a video on YouTube. Uh, by Xbox Funder, then when role plays happen, um, he'll invite you to the game. Uh, role plays are every Wednesday and Saturday, and at the moment, uh, they could change in the future, but um, at the moment, that's what the role play dates are. Days are. Um, but yeah, when you're done the RLP character, when you're in the role play, when you finish role play, uh, you need to add up all the money. So um, I'm just gonna quickly uh, RLRP play a bank. So basically, uh, if you need any help anyway, uh, IG members will help you out in the party. Uh, just invite the party, ask them about like if you don't get a player bank and uh, basically you get paid every day for your job, not out of GTA money, this uh, role player money. You get paid um, every day. For your job, you, um, you can get fines, tickets, speed tickets from police, and then obviously you have to pay that. Uh, you have to pay uh, $250 every uh, DTA day for food. So if you're in there for like say five uh, days in GTA, what you have to do is 250 times five, and then that would be your amount of uh, food. Um, I'm looking here, this is what you do. I'm gonna go down to mine, so here's mine. Um, so for card creation is um not card creation, rope uh play bank. What you do is guys basically you have a white box again. So if you don't get player bank you just read people's stuff as right then. Um so obviously what I did I copy and paste with someone. I copy and paste to someone that chucked in this box. So when you're in roleplay guys you sort out how much money you get. So uh, every roleplay day you get 25,000 um, every roleplay and then here if you get your like so in the roleplay if you get your car damage you have to go to the paint spray um, there'll be a work of it and then he will give you how much you have to pay out of the roleplay money and then obviously you will move the power to where you go in and uh, repair yourself out of the GTA money but um, what you do then you just take it away like if you get uh, shot or killed or something if you're not dead but you're injured you have to uh, call for paramedics uh, so uh, I paid them obviously 2000 for a medical uh, for work you have to put in um, Add the work on what you've done in that uh, role play. So add up the money in the, uh, for being in the role play for so your work. See so traffic ticket minus five. So take away minus food for food. Take away that uh, for getting um, some ammo for my system shotgun. Do that. Um, here you go, my items. I bought a, a piston shotgun. Yo, know, if you re read the rules, guys, you will get it. I haven't got no property yet, but I'm gonna uh, try and buy a uh, property as I'm rolling in dollar. Um, so, yeah, what I done, guys, when I was in roleplay, I had notes up on my phone. I put like 25 for starting in and then I like put in the money for the job I was doing 
Um, if you don't know much, you get you get paid. Uh, just ask an IG member on uh, in party or something. They help you out. But um, I just sort of done it all on my notes. I'm an after role player. Yeah, sort it all out. I've done the calculations and that. I've been in four role plays now, and this is how much I've earned. Um, so yeah, when you done your uh, player ban, what you basically do is send that and then it'll just get sent off and then every role play just keep on editing it, it should, uh, there's an edit button somewhere uh, the yeah, top right hand corner you can edit to um, so say I just finished a role play say when I uh, started put that in um, you know you just basically edit it so whatever you get in the next role play you just change that to whatever you maybe have to add some, some stuff on um, and then you could probably end up plusing that or taking away if you're buying stuff or you know getting bills and stuff but you just add on the money from the previous role play to your last role play so say if I add like previous role play um, one no say I earned 25 no, 26.00 uh, yeah, 26 grand say I earned that I would have to plus that onto that but if I had minus for loads of tickets then obviously I would take away that and add on to that so you just keep on updating your play band keep um, you know be on record um, also there's certain cards where you're allowed in role play um, but when you're when we setting up the game, the vehicles will be called off. So then you get time to go and buy the vehicle, and um, you know, get set set up your shop, set up uh, whatever job you've got. Um, but yeah, basically I think I've covered everything, guys. Um, so make sure you keep on reading the rules because that's what you really need to do guys you keep on reading the rules you get used to the uh, role play um we will try and set up um english rps but if we don't then you know guys we will try and sort things out but we will try and set up uk rps for the times and stuff as um you know, this is a community with people who live in America, but if I can make it to role plays and uh, a couple of others cannot clear you from this. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, if you need anything else, just you can message me on X on uh, Xbox, Xbox Funder, or invite me party and I'll help you through it. Even uh, the IG members here, uh, invite any of them to party, they'll help you through stuff, guys. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see uh, some GTA 5 roleplays on this channel, just make sure you leave a like and a comment. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching and peace out.